Hello there, Dawn here from Tranquility through Life's Natural Beauty channel. Today I thought it would be fun to answer 10 questions set by Tara from the channel Tom Girl City and the link to that channel is in the description below. Do go along and say hello. The first question Tara set, three things I like about myself. Number one, I like to think I'm a happy, fun person most of the time and that I share my joy with others. And as you know from my videos, my lives on my main channel, New Beginnings, My Everyday Life in Rural Cyprus, I always share jokes every single episode to show that even if you're feeling down, I hope I can bring you up at least for a time to forget your troubles. So that's number one. Number two of three things I like about myself. I think I'm community spirited and I have a big interest in people. Each person as an individual and I'm interested in people's life and their stories. So community minded if you like and interested in people. Number three, what do I like about yourself? <laughs> I like that I chose this location and property. I like that I made a good choice. <laughs> so I live in rural Cyprus, up a mountainside, and including me and my husband, Mike, there are only six people who live in a vast region of this area, this Cypriot village, which is an abandoned village in Cyprus. Question two. What singers did you grow up on? And it says, try and think of five. Um, well, a lot of the music I grew up on was obviously my parents' records. I used to play them when I was little. The old 78s, the big hard um I think they were like Bakelite or something, but the hard record disc. So I know a lot of old tunes and music because of that. And obviously my first music as a teenager, um, that was Bay City Rollers. I loved the Bay City Rollers. That was my first, what wasn't called boy bands in those days, but Bay City Rollers. So we'll say that's one. I like Tommy Steele. I grew up with and he was a tap dancer as well which people may not know and I love musicals and he did half a sixpence was a thing so he was a singer as well kind of the start of rock and roll perhaps so we we'll say Tommy Steele um other music for me personally as I got older and was really into music properly rather than just teenage years one of my favourite all time bands is ELO Electric Light Orchestra and there's not a single one of those that I don't like so we we'll say ELO I need two more um, I like any disco I really love disco let's say Bee Gees Again, because I like most of their songs and they were one of the main influences of disco era, particularly as they wrote all the music for Saturday Night Fever, which was all about disco. So let's pick those. And number five, um, let's say ABBA, because they were very controversial at the time. If you liked ABBA in ABBA era, you was actually looked on as like, mm, okay, you're a bit nerdy or whatever. But now that's so popular. And again, I love the new musicals they made of Mamma Mia and things like that. So we'll just pick those five because there's very specific reasons rather than being five bits of bands or music that I like more. Question three. Try and give three answers. What are you afraid of? Mm, truthfully number one Mike dying and leaving me to cope on my own uh, as I say I live very rurally I don't drive 
and there's no no neighbours and here you have to drive for absolutely everything so you have to go and buy your gas tanks nothing's delivered here you have to go and collect your post which for us is an hour away so I really would be cut off I can't go in banks at the moment so I can't go and get money so um, that's let's say that that is something that's in the back of my mind at all times and because of that Mike did actually say should we not live here initially but why have a sort of lower quality of life for many years when I could easily die first so definitely that what am I afraid of I'm afraid of animals that can bite and kill you <laughs> there's that obviously um I'm not afraid of snakes per se and we have snakes here if they're not dangerous and they run away they're fine we do have one very poisonous one that you cannot see it's big but it's very camouflage so that's a fear factor and I've got to find a third one what am I afraid of I'm afraid of the world how it is turning out now that it's all gone haywire completely so I'm afraid of that it's become so you're allowed what you to do what you like in some respects and the justice system, particularly in England, people can c commit many crimes and nothing is done. They're let off, particularly high profile people. So I'm afraid of that kind of situation that the world has gone out of control. Question four, if you could go back to your teenage years, what what year would you, or age group, would you go to? That's really easy for me. I can't remember precisely the age I was. It was probably around 18, pre-18, I think just pre-18. I was at stage school and fame was out then it was very popular it had just come out as a tv series and a film and i was living that true life of fame because i was at stage school and we were wearing the leg warmers and and what you saw on fame yes it really did happen where we would go across the road to kentucky fried chicken lunchtime and they would have i've said this before a silver barrier where the queue would go round and we would put our leg up on it and do stretches and all that just for fun to show we go to the stage school across the road and this is real life fame and I was doing big stage shows and shows in London and all these things and yes that most definitely was my top time of my life. Question five, name two things cartoons you watched as a child well if you see me on my main channel I often wear Muttley who was Dastardly and Muttley I don't like Dastardly and I don't like the other cartoons he was in but the actual character of Muttley I love Muttley I've got a Muttley egg cup Muttley's a dog he sort of laughs and goes <laughs> I just love Muttley for Muttley. Um, Danger Mouse I've always liked. I don't know if you guys know Danger Mouse. I like Danger Mouse. And Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo's fun. And I actually named one of my tiny Yorkshire Terriers Scrappy-Doo, who I think was the nephew of Scooby-Doo. But I love Scooby-Doo. That's pretty cool. That was three, but never mind. <laughs> Number six, a weird habit you have. Oh, weird habit. I've noticed recently in my lives on my main channel that I say so at the beginning of nearly every sentence. So come and look at my garden. So come and see how we've converted our old derelict donkey stable. So this is what's happening today. I just noticed I've said so all the time. I'm going to try and change that to Lipon, which is so in Greek because we speak Cypriot and Greek here. So I'm just going to start trying to say Lipon. <laughs> and people will be like, what's that you keep saying? Mm, it's so. So, uh, so I'll say that for my weird habit. 
Number seven, favourite food. Food is food, yum. <laughs> Obviously more desserts. Desserts has got to be top. Any dessert practically. I like ice creams, cakes. I just like puddings. I love butterscotch. Oh, I love butterscotch. You can't get butterscotch here. There's um, Angel Delight, which I think Americans call dessert whip or something or instant dessert something like that you can get a butterscotch flavor of that but just butterscotch tart butterscotch butterscotch i like cream thick cream anything with thick cream so any desserts or puddings sweets i like sweets those kind of things i love cocktails creamy cocktails if that counts as food i love mexican i love italian food i don't like indian that's the only i love spices and chili and garlic i don't like curries at all and no indian food i think there must be some spice in that that i don't like number eight who inspires you to keep going in life anyone who is like me has a serious medical condition doesn't keep on about it and just gets on with life so I like the people who have a condition but you wouldn't know it let's say that they're inspiring it's like people give to charity if you're going to keep saying I give to charity well that's great and I appreciate that but it's these famous people that don't get a photo opportunity out of giving to charity so the people who in the future when they died you hear what they've done and it's amazing so people are the same what you do behind the scenes and keep to yourself but to help is my inspiration rather than putting it out there or being miserable with what you've been dealt question nine your favorite color I like purples and blues. I like bright blues. I like turquoise. I like vibrant colours. I like UV, the purple of that, and pretty coloured lights. So I like rainbows, ultraviolet colours, anything like that. But if I have to pick a colour, blue. Question 10. Try and answer three different things your favorite childhood memory was I've already said being at stage school just being on stage I am actually a sort of shy quiet person and people say they're too afraid to go on stage but let me tell you when you're on a massive stage as long as you know what you're doing so be prepared with what you're performing or saying and then it's fine and practice beforehand obviously but once you're on stage you can't see the audience unless you're doing some amateur thing of course you will and that's more daunting but when you're on a proper west end stage or a london stage with all the lights and everything the house lights are down in the audience the stage lights are bright in your face you can't see anyone so head up look out and just get on with it so childhood memories every show that I've done um I've done tv work as well and things like that so I'm going to link that into that my birthday parties and my Christmases as a child that's the one thing I really appreciate my mum for it they were wonderful I've spoken about these so many times that she made my parties so much fun and they were organized but organized in a good way and she made the whole birthday special we could have whatever we wanted lunchtime and my party would always actually be on my actual birthday so that felt special and Christmas is as I've said before uh, one of my choices you could either have lots of little presents or one or two big presents because you had a limit of price and I always said don't mind but I always wanted a board game and we would play that on Christmas day so birthdays and Christmases let's link that as one thing and holidays I would say for my third thing holidays we never went abroad as a child my mum wouldn't go abroad she didn't like to fly which I love and obviously that was something 
we would go different places each time and often we would go to Pontins which is like a holiday centre if you like all round England it used to be there's not so many now and it was entertainment free and competitions and really great for families it's not as it was it used to be really great and i would say pontins i wanted to be a blue coat which is the name of the entertainer workers there and so for me pontins holidays more than any other sort of holidays so that's my 10 questions that Tara from Tom Girl City set maybe you'd like to do them as well if you do them film them and send them to Tara's channel I'm sure if you go on her channel she'll give you the link to where to send them to her channel and I really enjoyed doing those I did actually go on one of her lives and she asked me questions there things such as if you had the choice between A and B which would you do and there was some really interesting questions there so if you like answering questions maybe ask her what those were or go and look at the live see if you can see me up on screen on one of her lives and it's really great so do go out there do support these smaller channels I like to do it if you're a small channel do contact me and let me know I've done many collaboration questions and other activities for collaborations and look up project morph it's not on this channel it's on my main channel and if you go on new beginnings my everyday life in rural cyprus i've got a playlist called project morph and it's how i can make a video all about your channel if you do a video for project morph so thanks tara again for the questions love your lives and to everyone else have a positive productive day bye for now